are Stampers and Crafters and welcome to our Friday online class. I am calling this a mega class today just because I am going to be sharing some awesome, awesome cool techniques with you. One of them being this really cool shutter card that I'm going to open and share with you in a minute. It's when you open it that the secret happens. It's almost like a, like a shutter to a camera and it, it's so, so cool. And I'm also going to show you um, a cool technique using the impressions folder, all of which we're going to be doing with the new um, share what you love sweet cards, which I absolutely love. Um, so this is what we're going to be making today. While you guys are popping on board, I'm going to share with you a I feel like every day I have new excitement to share with you guys, and today is one that I'm personally really, really excited about. So um, I'm also going to, on top of sharing some personal excitement, a um, little party that I'm throwing for you guys here online next week, um, you want to stay tuned to the end of this uh, episode, because after we're done making the cards, and before I draw the winner of the Mega Prize Patrols... It is going to be epic today. It really is. I'm going to share with you some amazing samples created with the Share What You Love Suite, which we're going to be using today. I have a I have a basket full of beautiful samples here, and I think you're just going to flip when you see these. Just absolutely gorgeous. So I have so much to share with you guys, so much excitement and inspiration. So uh, let's get started with the giveaways. So um, as always, whenever I have uh, a live... Um, a live video, a live online class, I always like to give stuff away uh, as a little thank you for joining me, for tuning in. Uh, it, it adds a little excitement, and uh, normally I have maybe two or three things to give away. Well, today I'm calling this the mega giveaway, right? So I have a few hostess sets here from the current catalog that are about to retire. Dare to Dream, Your Delightful, and Tranquil Tulips will all be drawn live at the end of this episode as well as this mega, <laughs> mega giveaway. I have two of these mega giveaways. One I'm gonna do live and one I'm gonna do um, after live. And all you need to do to enter all of these um, live giveaways is leave a comment. So leave a comment. Now here's what's included in this bundle. One person's gonna win this mega bundle right here. This is from the, the Share What You Love Suite. It's an early release. Um, these are early release bundles, meaning they're coming out in the new catalog. They have been released to customers in special order bundles. I'll tell you about those in a minute. It's the Love What You Do stamp set and the Make a Difference stamp set. This is a great alphabet set, along with the Grapefruit Grove um, ink pad in the new ink pad style. This is an embellishment kit here called Share What You Love. I'll show you some of it in a minute. I've used a lot of mine. This one's brand new. The one you win if we are new. We've got some pearlized doilies, the velvet ribbon, and some coordinating cardstock that goes with the suite. So this entire bundle, one person's going to win live, and then a second person's going to win it after live. So even if you don't win the lives, you want to leave a comment because this is like a mega prize patrol here. So that's four different prizes I'm going to draw at the end. Now at the 10 minute mark, I have what I call the early bird drawing, and I'm going to give away this pop-up Stampin' Up scrap bin. And what a pop-up scrap bin is, it's kind of like those little, you know, those reusable lawn bags. I don't know if you've seen the ones that they, they pop up literally, except it's better because it says Stampin' Up on it and it's made for, for crafting. It, it folds up nice and tight. It fits on your desk when you're scrapping and it's also great for, um, your car. <laughs> so I'll draw that one at the 10 minute mark. All you need to do to leave a, to enter is leave a comment here on the live. So that is mega exciting, right? This, this is going to be epic. I'm so excited about today's, uh, today's live. Now this is going to be my last official online class for the next week. Um, I'm going to be traveling a little bit next week and I'm going to share with you now some excitement that I am going to roll out um, while I'm traveling. So let's pop on over to the, um, and you know, the, and you know, be in the no section of, um, of my, my, my live today. And that is, um, what's happening, what's happening in the crafting world, what's happening with Stampin' Up, what's happening over on my blog. And the first thing I'm going to share is what's coming next week. This is a sneak peek. First time I've actually officially announced this. Um, I'm setting it up now, uh, and I'm really, really excited. I wanted to do something special because next week I'm going to be traveling out to Utah to be with Stampin' Up. Um, they're having a big celebration for my when I hit the $2 million uh, sales achievement uh, milestone. They're having a huge, huge party, and I'm so excited. I, I can't stand it. I really can't stand it. I'm, 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 I'm sitting here starting to choke up. I can't do that. <sighs> okay. 
All right, I am so excited, but I really wanted to do something special. Now, I know I did some special, uh, some specials back in February when I hit it. But while I'm away, because I can't be doing live classes like I normally do, I wanted some. I, I wanted a, to do a party. So I, 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 I really thought about it, and I'm like, let's do eight days of giveaways in May's. Now, the giveaway that I just shared with you for today is kind of like a sneak peek of, of what you're going to see over the eight days. Every day, I'm going to have two different giveaways, a grand prize and a bonus prize. And I'll, I'll explain more about this um, on Wednesday. So I will be live on Wednesday. We'll kick off eight days of giveaways in May and how it works, how you can enter for free. It's all free. Um, and there'll be new catalog stuff that I'm giving away too. I'm really, I'm really excited about this. And, and really, like I said, I want to get back. I want to get back because I, I wouldn't be here without you. So this is a sneak peek at what's coming, a little bit of the excitement that's coming next week. And that will all be happening on stampwithtammy.com and here on my Facebook page and um, YouTube. I will be live on Wednesday, but uh, there really isn't a way for me to do the contest on YouTube. So um, you will need to either pop over to Facebook or my, or my blog to enter. All right, so again, details coming next Wednesday, the 16th. So that's just a sneak peek. Stay tuned for more. What else is happening in um, in, <laughs> in the stamping world? Stampin' Up! announced uh, some discounts on the retiring products. Now, mind you, the retiring products, whatever's left, is only going to be here until May 31st, if it hasn't sold out before then, and things are selling out. Now... There is going to be, uh, there is, is actually currently some sales on some of the products. They just announced this, some of them up to 50% off. So you need to uh, pop on over to my blog or my, my online store by clicking on the link in this video's description. Um, and you can shop there. You can see what's on sale. I have all the details there on my resource page. Oh, thank you, Wendy. She says you rock right back at you guys. I love you so much. So much. So exciting. Okay, so... The other things that are happening here in Stampin' World is the Share What You Love Suite, which we are going to use today. I'll share the special early release bundles that are happening um, because they're awesome. And the other thing I wanted to share is um, that the catalog pre-order is now available for demonstrators. If you're not a demonstrator yet but are dying to get your hands on some of the new products you've seen, you can um, purchase a demonstrator kit. You can get retiring products in it. You can get anything you want. You can get pre-order products in it. Anything that's currently available that hasn't sold out, you can get in that kit, including the new catalog stuff, and you get new catalogs with it. So that's that's another exciting thing that's happening. Um, I also have a new catalog swap, and details are, are on my pre-order page, which you can either get to at stampwithtammy.com and click on specials, where all of the news is that I'm sharing with you right now, or click on the link in this video's description that brings you to the resource page, and I have all the information there, too. I like to make it easy for you. I like to make it easy so that you guys can find all the information I'm sharing with you. If you didn't hear it, if you came in late, um, I don't want you to miss an, miss out on anything. That's the worst thing, especially when it's a sale or a giveaway <laughs> in this particular case. Okay, so I, I just shared, and I'll pop down real quick in case you, you're tuning in late. These are the giveaways today. I have three Hostess stamp sets. These, a um, couple of these are non, they, they weren't claimed. So make sure if you are a winner, you claim your prize or after two weeks, it goes back in the drawing. My early bird is for this pop-up scrapping, which I'm going to draw in about one minute. So leave a comment quick if you want to be entered into that one. And the mega live prize here is this entire suite of the Share What You Love. This entire what you see here is all one prize, one grand prize winner. So mega prizes today. All right, so I think it's about time. I don't want to. I don't want to get on there too early and um, do the early bird before the ten minute mark because I don't want anyone to miss out. Um, so I want to give you about thirty more seconds, but we're gonna pop over there and start getting ready because I have to refresh this anyway. So um, we're getting ready. I'm gonna draw the winner of the pop up scrapping, which is my early bird drawing for today. And uh, good luck to all of you who have left a comment. You are eligible to win. Here it goes. All right. Wow. There's over 300 of you guys. Well, welcome and, and yay for Friday crafting. Gotta love that. Okay. So the very first winner of the pop-up scrap bin goes to Debbie Garrett Vasses. Congratulations, Debbie. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form. There is a link in this video's description. And uh, all right. So with that, we are going to pop down to the table and start getting ready to do some stamping. Okay, so I'm gonna move these guys out of the way. <laughs> while I was setting up, don't laugh at me, while I was setting up, I was eating <laughs> leftover pizza because I was running late. <laughs> so I don't have a place to put everything because my 
my pizza plate was there. All right, so yes, this is how I get ready, really. I'm sitting here eating, doing a sound check, making sure the sound works, because you know there's nothing worse than getting on here and not being able to hear anything. And there's so many prizes. There's I need room to put them over there. <laughs> so much for you guys to win today. All right, so the first thing I wanted to share before we get started is what we're actually using to, in today's class, which is the Share What You Love Suite. If you haven't seen this yet, oh my gosh, it is amazing. All right, so this is um, a, a, an early release suite. It's going to be coming out in the new catalog, but Stampin' Up! has released a few of these special bundles early. And these are the bundles that they've released. There's, it, It's actually the same bundle in three different sizes. There's the Getting Started bundle, and then there's the A Little More Please, which adds in free. You get a free embellishment kit. We're going to use that today. I'm also giving one away. You get free envelopes. You get pearls in there and all kinds of fun stuff. But really, you got to have it all <laughs> because not only does it come with the designer paper we're going to be using today and some cardstock and ribbon and all kinds of fun stuff, but you get three free things with it. And that's a Statement of the Heart stamp set, envelopes, and that embellishment kit. Also, in case you missed that, um, the new ink colors that are coming out in the new catalog are also available in a special bundle. Um, and they come in the, the, they're actually the new ink pads, which I'll be using today too. So that is the Share What You Love Suite. Now, let's play with it. <laughs> All right, so if you are new to my videos uh, or just, you know, weren't, did, forgot about this, Anytime, oh, there they are, see, beautiful little cards here that we're making. Anytime um, I have an online class, I always have a coordinating um, free PDF for you. And that is um, on my blog. You can click on the link in the video's description to get it. And what it has is all of the uh, measurements, scoring, especially today you're going to need the scoring, um, the scoring information to make the shutter card that we're going to make. It's all on this free PDF for you. You can click over there, download it, save it. It also has the supply list there and it has a lot more. The resource page is a, it's a, it's a, it is a resource page that I think you guys really will, um, really really enjoy using I mean there's just it's it's awesome there's so many great things there for you guys all right so I don't love this camera angle let's see if, oh if I if I move it there then you're gonna see my plate my dirty plate behind me <laughs> I have no way of winning there <laughs> oh it is what it is all right you guys are just gonna have to look at the mess behind me I'm sorry for that <laughs> All right, so anyways, this here is, um, there are some great things here. One is that it's got the link, the URL to the resource page, and that will bring you back to this video that we're making right now so that you can actually, um, you can actually rewatch this if you're, if you go to make the shutter card later and you forgot one of the steps or you weren't sure what we did, that's an easy way to get back there. Or if you have a smartphone, you can zap that. So that is there for you. Okay. So now it's time to get started. <laughs> All right. So these are the two cards we're going to be making. They're, they're very different techniques, very different techniques, but they're both very cool. They're, they're both wow cards. The first one here, um, this actually is a case for my friend, uh, Kim Quaid. She's in my downline. She's amazing. She's a stamp it demonstrator. She created this for our swap and I loved it because she used this impressions folder. It is, it comes with the gotta have it all kit. It's the lovely floral dynamic impressions folder, but she did a fun technique on the folder to create this. So you have like a reverse image on here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And in addition, this also came from my swap. Oh my gosh, I lost her name on the original. Oh no, no, no. I have to give her credit. Oh, here we go. No, no, no. Found it. Veronica Cordry. Phew. <laughs> Veronica made this original card in the swap, and here's the shutter. How fun is that, right? It's a fun, fun fold. It's really surprisingly easy to make, um, and, and I love it, and I love it with this designer paper. It's so cool, right? Okay, so getting started, um, we are going to start with the um, this card here. This is the, um, the folder card. And let's see, let me make sure I grab my right pack of paper. I tried to keep everything organized. <laughs> sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so 
I've pre-cut everything and the measurements are on the blog. This one's a fairly easy card to make. Um, they're both really easy to make. And I've, I've pre-cut the designer paper. I should have left that out just to share with you guys. So we are going to use... Uh-oh. Uh I hope I have a black ink pad. Oh, darn it all. Just when I, just when I think I've... Just when I think I've got it all, I don't. Did I forget my black? Wow, okay, so... It appears I have not only forgot my black, I don't see that I have any of my ink pads here. Well, this is going to be interesting. How on earth am I going to stamp without ink pads? Well, I am going to have to... Um, do something crazy <laughs> oh my gosh can we do this one with a with the grapefruit grove can we how could I not have ink pads I really don't know. well that's a new low for me starting a class without ink pads all right um if any of you have ever done that shut up at a workshop without without ink pads or something like paper we are actually going to use the one that I'm giving away I promise I will give you a new one <laughs> I'll replace this with a new ink pad I will make sure that you get one. Um, and I guess everything is going to have Grapefruit Grove on it today because I don't have a black available. I am just killing myself here. Okay. It is what it is. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this. And, hey, we'll show you how to use these new ink pads. These are the brand new ink pads coming out in the new catalog. But if you order this set, you are going to, um, you're going to get the, the brand new ink pad with it. On the back, it's got these lovely labels. Um, they're in different languages depending on where you live and um, there's a solid solid color there so all you need to do is the reason why there's a solid and let's go with that one first okay now um, and Wendy's on here so that's good because she texted me the other day and, and wasn't sure how to open the ink pad she was having a hard time listen our current ink pad you have to pop it right here to open it these new ones you do not these new ones are so easy to open they open like a makeup compact case you literally just Whoops. <laughs> sure, of course it's not gonna it's not gonna cooperate, but let, you don't push it, you just literally lift the lid and that's it. That's it. And so no more popping it there. Um, people were saying they were having trouble with that popping. So um, that makes it easy too. And I'm gonna put that back because I need one of these to put on it. So I I I, I only speak English, so I'm going to go with the English version. <laughs> of the labels there. So I'm going to peel that grapefruit grove off in English and stick it right on the front here. So when they stack up, I can see what color it is. Okay. <laughs> Robbie says you'll wait for me. I know, but that's rude. It's rude for me to start a class and leave. You do want to peel the rest of this off um, to make it easier for them to stack and they stack up nice and tight, which is wonderful. I'm just going to make do with this, and we're going to have a very interesting class today. I did used to have a, a black ink pad around for in case of emergencies, but I guess I probably packed it up and took it upstairs because I don't seem to have it available now. You know, I usually keep, I usually, you know, like have the basics around in the studio for just times like these, but eh, we can make it work. We're just going to have some fun with it. Okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to open that again. You want to see that again? Boom. Okay, so that is the new ink pad there. I promise if you win this bundle, I will get you a new ink pad. You're not going to have to use the one that I just opened. All right, we're going to use the thank you set stamp from the Love What You Do, and this is part of that big bundle that I'm giving away. I'm going to ink that up in the Grapefruit Grove, stamp it right in the center because, I mean, I, I would have inked it in black if I had my black with me but whatever I'm sure it'll look beautiful okay so that's the only stamping that's on this card and we'll go ahead and punch I've got the triple banner punch here we'll go ahead and punch out either end by sliding this in now whenever I use the triple banner I'm just gonna move that out of the way so the tail doesn't bounce into it I like to do this upside down so you can see exactly where you're punching so you can, you know, line it up exactly the way you want it. And there. So that is our banner tail. And that's how easy this is. The triple banner punch. And that is on the supply list. Okay. <laughs> Melanie says if she wins the open one, it's fine with her. Yeah, it does save you the trouble of putting the stickers on it. 
there is that. Okay, so I am going to pull in the Big Shot die cut machine. <laughs> I'm still perplexed that I actually, you know, came down here without any ink pads because I just can't believe I did that. Yes, I can. It's one of those days, you know, when you have so many things going on that your mind is just spent. But usually I prepare better than that. I'm so sorry. So this is the folder that we're going to be using. It comes in that bundle. It comes in the Gotta Have It All bundle. You, you get that, this with it. It's called the Lovely Floral, and this is a dynamic folder. And what that means is um, it's thicker than a normal folder. This is really like a 3D impression. But what it also means is when we use the Big Shot, we only need one cutting pad instead of two. So I'm going to actually, this is the technique. This is the technique we're going to share today. Um, I'm going to ink up the top of this folder. So the top is with the logo, the Sizzix and the Stampin' Up! logos with the Grapefruit Grove. And we're just going to ink that up good. I'm literally just the ink pad in now. This is a really brand new juicy ink pad, so this is going to be very vibrant, very bright and colorful. You can see how the, the, the deboss side here of the flower doesn't have the color on it. This is where the magic is going to happen. Now, the other thing is I'm kind of offsetting this flower. So I'm going to put the, um, the cardstock a little bit to the left-hand side here when I put it in. So now we're going to close it. Now you want to be careful once you close it not to, not to rock and shake it. And I can see that I missed a little spot up there, but we'll catch that when we're done. We can, we can do that. We, we have ways. Okay, so that's going to go directly onto the Big Shot platform because this is a dynamic folder, impressions folder and then one cutting pad, and then we're going to send it through. Okay. And then when it comes off, literally, that's how it, whoops. <laughs> and then we just throw it around. That is literally how it comes off. And now I can't show you my sink because it's out of camera view, but if you just rinse this under the sink, all of that ink, it's plastic, all of that ink just comes right off. In fact, Hold on. You can't see me do this, but if I just go over here to the sink and just turn it on here. Sorry, you can't see that, but boom, all gone. <laughs> just like that. It is amazingly easy to clean that off because the plastic literally just comes right off. Now, you see, I, I, I missed a little tiny spot on that folder when I was inking it up, so we'll fix that. If I had a sponge handy, I would use the sponge, but since I don't, we're just going to use this Grapefruit Grove that I thank you, Grapefruit Grove, for your service today. <laughs> Somebody was supposed to win you. Okay, so now it's completely inked up. All right, and we are ready to finish card number one. So that was our first card technique, and I'm just going to move you out of the way. And I've got a very vanilla cardstock base, and we are going to layer a little piece of this beautiful designer paper from the Shade What You Love Sweet over the top of that, and I'm just taking some snail adhesive. Okay, let me just make sure that we're lined up good there. I don't think I cut that piece awesomely because I see a little bit of overhang there. Do you see that? Is it just my eye? So with that... I'm just going to flip to see that little tiny little thing. I'm just going to trim that so that it's, it's flush. All right. And then we are going to take that beautiful yummy velvet ribbon and attach that over the front. Now, I just did that with some snail adhesive. So I'm going to take our little silicone mat and Just put some snail at the back. You could also use mini glue dots. Whatever your favorite adhesive is works there. There's no right or wrong on the adhesive. You don't have to be in one camp or the other, but I do prefer snail. So that literally just, in fact, that doesn't even need to be quite that long. That literally just wraps around the front of the card. And then we'll use some snail adhesive to attach this to our card base. <laughs> Mary says she wants to stay home and make cards all day. You know what, Mary? I had that dream. Before I became a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I had that dream. I worked a full-time job. I owned another business, actually. And um, and then somebody introduced me to stamping, and I said, oh, my gosh, I was so hooked, and I loved it so much. And I, I said, I want to stay home and make cards all day. And you know what? I worked really hard. <laughs> I, I ended up signing up, actually, for the discount to become a demonstrator. 
and I, I ended up loving it so much and she loving sharing it so much that I mean here I am right two million dollars later and um, I get to stay home and make cards all day and I love it so much and I get to make cards with you guys all day so it really doesn't get any better than that I have the best job in the world in the world I swear all right, so I, I used snail on all of these pieces to attach it, and then we are going to uh, take some Stampin' Dimensionals for the banner. Okay, oh, thanks, Lori. She says she loves the classes. Diana, how much have I missed? Uh, what minute mark are we at? <laughs> we started at noon, so that's how much you've missed. But um, you've missed the first card pretty much. But you can always go back and watch that on the replay. And we are just about to get started on the shutter card. So you've got that going for you. And you got here in time to leave comments. So you'll be able to enter. Also, um, and I don't have these handy, but those little pearls that come in the bundles, that you can put some of those on it too. So that is our card. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And it was so easy, right? Now this one, oh no, there's no name on the back. I'm sorry, I can't give her credit for this one. Um, this is actually, this might be Veronica. I think this is a Veronica card. Um, this is another idea here done the same way, but with the, um, with the blue ink. This one looks like um, the new blue that I'm drawing a blank on, the name of it, it's about to come out here. And um, same exact thing, just another sample here. And it's got a little bit of the die cut, laser die cut on the side. And um, so the very fun use of that folder that's a little bit different. Now, when I show you the card samples at the end, and you don't forget to stay tuned to the end because I am going to be sharing um, sharing you some of these at the, um, at the end. I'm going to be sharing that whole basket I, I showed you at the beginning. Um, you'll be able to see the folder used regularly, like a regular impressions folder. Okay, so that is card number one. Now it's time for the shutter card. Oh, I love this so much. So this this idea came in the card swap that um, we did for the Share What You Love. And I've already put away the original. Um, Veronica Cordry shared her original card here. Here it is. This was her original card that she created for that swap. And um, oh, upside down. <laughs> so here it is. See the little shutter on the inside? so super fun and it's almost like a, it's almost like a camera right a camera shutter opening and closing and it's fun because we love interactive cards especially when they're easy to make like this one is so um we are going to make this one only we are going to use some grapefruit grove ink and we're just going to roll with it because i forgot to, to bring the black ink into the studio it's got a little belly band on it and i used the brand new this is um the, the punch is called the taylor tag punch that's in the, um, it, it's in the occasions catalog. It will be in the new catalog. Veronica used the, um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank on the, the name of the punches. Pretty Label is the one that she used on hers. So this is the Pretty Label punch here. And on mine, I used the, the um, it's not Truly Tailored, but sorry, that's not the one. We are using Truly Tailored too, but, ah, uh, I didn't, it's the brand new, it's this punch. I'm hoping that somebody, Somebody has a catalog, a new catalog that can shout out the name for me because I'm drawing a blank on it. It's brand new. It's coming out in the new catalog. It's one of the, I told you I was having one of those days, right? Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs> okay, so let's get started with this card. Now, I'm going to bring out my little PDF cheat sheet. Don't forget you can get this on my blog and it has all the cuts and scoring right on it. And we are going to start with our scoring. So... I'm going to score everything at once because I, that's how I like to, that's how I roll. That's how I like to do things. I like to stamp all at once. I like to do all my cutting all at once and then all the scoring because I, I just feel like it flows. Okay. Oh, Pat says she's tried the shutter card twice and couldn't get it lined up. Well, maybe this time we can get, maybe we can get you lined up. Maybe this time is, this is your lucky time. Okay. So we've got our card base here of Mint Macron, which is a coming, it's a comeback color. It's coming back in the new catalog. And um, we are going to score this. And let me tell you about the scoring blade. Oops, lock that. Let me tell you about the scoring blade. So this is the Stampin' Up! trimmer here. It comes with a paper cutter and a scorer. So this is the paper cutter here, whoops, which is the darker. It's like a darker gray color. 
And this is the score here. It's like Sahara sand, we'll call it. Okay, so two and one eighth inches. I'm going to go in at the two and one eighth, eighth inch mark and score. So what the score does is it gives us that little score mark, score line to fold on without actually cutting. The cutting blade does the cutting. So we're going to do that on either side of the long side. We're going to score it in. Okay. Okay. So that's our that is our our center fold on the card. Good to go. All right. Now the belly band. We are going to score that at two inches, and I'm scoring it actually a little bit wider than I scored my original because my original was a little tight. So six and three eighths, which is not quite, not quite half. Right there. So that's the belly band, and that's going to wrap around. And this one is a little bit too long, which is not a problem. Better too long than too short. We are just going to trim off. Actually, we've got the paper cutter here. Why not use it, right? Boom. Belly band. Done. Right? We just need some adhesive on that. Okay. And the last thing we want to cut is our two little, in I'm sorry, not cut, but score our two little inserts here. And they're going to be scored at um, the half inch mark of the long side, which I've already done for you, but I'll show you it just in case. Okay. So bring it into a half inch, the half inch mark there and scoring blade on both of them. Okay, so we've got a half inch tab on either one of those. That's our scoring for this card. Okay, so next up we're gonna take our designer paper. Now this this is the inside and it actually goes this way, although because we're doing um <laughs> because we're doing the um grapefruit grove because I forgot my black ink pad. I'm almost wondering, do you think we could get away with using this pattern on the front? Do you think that'll work if we use this one with this? Let's let's flip it over and see what the other side looks like. Let's put it all together. Maybe we can we can just flip this around and rearrange some colors on here. Okay, that would work together. Or Yes, the size, Jeannie says, can you tell us the size of the two little squares? Yes, they're on that free PDF. Go grab it. Click the link in this video's description and download that free PDF. That's what it's there for. Okay, so I really want to do this one. Would these two go together? Give me a shout out. You think they go? I think I'm going to try it. You know what? I can always flip it over if we don't love it. There, We have our ways. Okay, so the, what I'm going to use to cut this is the new tag the new tag here um, that I, I'm drawing a blank on the name that I'm hoping somebody's going to shout out for us. <laughs> okay, so Taylor Tag. I think no, Taylor Tag is the um, is the other one. We are going to use Taylor Tag, but that's not that's not the name of this one. This is the Taylor Tag. We are going to use this one, but that this one is a brand new one coming out in the new catalog, and I'm just drawing a, I'm just completely blanking on the name. So this is the inside piece. You know what, though? I, I think I like it better this way. So we're just going to roll with it, and we're going to use the Grapefruit Grove anyways. We're just going with it. All right. And <laughs> Fran says she's going to try the card with ugly paper first. There is no need to try it with ugly paper because the paper, really, it's these two score lines and these two score lines that are the key to this entire card. You, don't, you will not wreck your paper at all. Okay, so we are going to take the, um, I'm lucky to have a friend like you stamp, and I'm going to stamp it on this very vanilla, which is not attached yet, because that's the only ink pad I had handy. Now, I want to line it up, so I'm going to put some snail on the back of the, everyday punch, thank you, Sally, thank you, thank you, this is the everyday punch that we're using. <laughs> okay, so I put adhesive only on the back of the vanilla. I'm going to line this up exactly where I'm going to, place it when it's done and press that vanilla down so that's in its it's forever home and then we need to we you know what we're going to go ahead and use that truly tailor tag and because i want to close the ink pad before I, something lands in it i'm really famous for messing up a beautiful card when i'm done because i opened it into an ink pad an opening pad okay so now we can close it so that doesn't happen okay now we're going to use the truly tailor tag for this now here's the cool part. Yes, this punch is carrying over, Deb. Everything that I'm using today is in the new catalog. Okay, 
The cool part is that piece that I cut out of the inside is going to become our layer on the outside for this. And all we need to do is trim off those little tabs. There's cute little tabs that I feel kind of bad cutting off, but we're going to do it anyway. And that is going to be our layer. Actually, it doesn't look bad with the Grapefruit Grove. It's a nice accent. Kind of like it. Okay. Now here, we're going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of... Actually, you know what? Before we, before we do that... Okay, let's go ahead. I, I normally do all my assembly at once. Oh, that's nice. Got some great grove, grapefruit grove on my fingers that now it's on the front of my card. Did I just get finished talking about the ink pad accident? <laughs> no, I thought I was going to open it into the ink pad, but instead I carried the ink pad with me on my fingers. But that's okay because we're going to hide it right here with this designer paper panel. Okay, we've got, I put snail on the on these guys. We're just going to go ahead and, and put those on the front. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead. This is going to be snail too, so I'm going to go ahead and attach that these two labels together. And okay, I think we're. You know what? Let's go ahead and do our. Uh, we'll do our belly band because the very last thing I'm going to do is the very inside. So we're going to take care of everything else first, but I've got some, this is tear tape, which is stronger than your normal adhesive, stronger than your snail or your Tombow liquid glue. And I, you know, and for this particular thing, any card with movement or any kind of 3d project, I like to have a stronger adhesive. So we're going to put that on there. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and put them on the tabs of these two inside mint macaron. You know, what's beautiful about tear tape and tears. You don't need an extra hand for the scissors. I'm not lined up awesomely there, but that's okay too. It's all going to work just fine. Okay, so we've got our adhesive on there, and I'll go ahead and put our Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. So everybody's ready to go. I just have to peel off backings. <laughs> that's how I roll. <laughs> I like it that way. <laughs> oh, okay, so I am putting intentionally some Dimensionals in the center of this because I, you want this, you don't want this to sag. You don't want this punched out piece to sag. That, that right there is kind of the key to making this work. If this front, if this part sags down, then it's hard for the shutter to open and close. It kind of sticks. So make sure you don't skimp on the dimensionals on that. Okay, so. I'm just peeling the backing off of our belly band and we'll go ahead and put that together so it's ready to rock and roll. The suspense, right? The suspense. Is it going to work? Can she do it without getting ink on it or somehow <laughs> screwing something else up? I actually don't mind the Grapefruit Grove. It's not as much. I, th I thought maybe it was going to bother me, but it, I really don't mind it at all. Okay, there is one more piece I need to do to these two pieces before we um, attach them. And that is we're bringing that triple banner punch back that we used on the first card. And we're going to slide them in. And that's the, the end, this, this end here. I'm going to slide that into the triple banner and flip it over so I can see exactly what I'm doing here and just trim. This is the, the actual shutter part of the card. There's one. And then we'll put the other one in there. And... There's two. Okay. Ooh, that was not a good cut. I should have flipped that over to see what I was doing, huh? We can fix that. <laughs> it's going to have an awfully short shutter. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oops. Oh. All right, I think we can still, I think it's salvageable. I hope it is because I don't have another piece here, but you guys will still know how to, you will still know how to do it. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is line these guys up. And they go like this. So the tab here goes on the, on this side of the flap here. So that when it's open, you can read, but when we shut it, 
they're going to close. Okay, so we're going to peel off the, um, the backing on this. Okay, so we'll line this one up. It's going to go right there, right on the seam. This piece is going right on the seam. And then you just need to make sure that this one lines up exactly with that one. So when they shut, they're going to shutter. See? All right, but, but. We're not done yet. The main thing that holds them down, and I'm just going to fold that up because I didn't put that one on straight. Okay, the main part that holds that down is this. This is the other key to this card, and that is this little section. Again, make sure that your dimensionals are in a spot where um, the center of this, where our everyday label punch is punched out. That hole is punched out the window. It doesn't sag. Okay. And line that up right in the middle. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, two things. I put it on upside down. Somebody probably said that and I didn't notice. So we are we are going with the other side. <laughs> and that's okay, so it was just meant to be. And the other thing is, I'm doing that off camera, I put the dimensionals up a little bit too high and they were touching this. So I gotta move them down just a hair. I, I want them still close to that window so they don't sag and then, there. <laughs> I did mean to leave the green side up there, but that's okay. It was meant to be grapefruit. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Wanda, for that. She says, your dimensionals are too close, caught it. All right, so that's our shutter card. Told you, really, even me on a bad day can make this. Okay, so next up, this little belly band. Oh, did I not make that big enough? Again, I made another one not big enough. <sighs> I might have to go revise my score lines on that because that seems a little bit too tight here. The score lines that I gave you are a little bit too tight. I thought I was going bigger, but it looks like I was going smaller. Okay, so I, I the score line that I gave you on the belly band two and three eighths. So we need to go maybe two and uh, six and five eighths. Instead of six and three eighths, go six and five eighths. So it's just a little bit wider on the belly band. And I'm just going to go to the original just so you can see how it's supposed to operate. I thought I was going a little bit bigger, but apparently I was going smaller. Sorry about that. Okay. So that's how it, that's how it rolls when it's on there. Now the piece that's missing on here are these two little brads. It is a grapefruit day. It's totally a grapefruit day. Um, and those come from the embellishment kit. Where the heck is my embellishment kit? I, I, I was going to open it up and show it to you guys. Wow. All right. So my apologies. You can go back and watch my unboxing of this kit to see the inside of the embellishment kit. But these come in it. Um, these two little, and they just peel and stick and they're super fun. The whole card is really, really, really easy to make. After you get the, it, the, really the key is the dimensions. Okay, so that's how to make the shutter card. And we saw how to, how to color up that impressions holder on our first card to make this cool design here. All right, so we've got our cool, cool designs. As promised, I have some additional samples to share with you guys. Oh, uh, Lindsay says my score was right on the, um, Right on the sheet, but I scored it wrong. Thank you for that, Lindsay. She says I, I scored it. To, I scored it wrong. The sheet's right. I was wrong. I did it wrong here. Thank you for that. I, <laughs> I feel a little better. <laughs> All right. So the sheet's right. The sheet is correct. The the p free PDF is correct. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, KK says when life gives you when life gives you grapefruit, make shutter cards. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Yes, that's exactly where we're at today. So, uh, I have some things to share with you. This is a, um, it's a triple time technique card that I made. Linda and I did an unboxing of this and I linked to this, um, on the resource page, that video, if you missed it to see how to make this card. And this was actually made with the basic bundle, the basic, um, share what you love bundle. You know, there's three bundles in the suite that are available and these are, these bundles are only available at these special pricing in May, but it's this one, this, uh, this first card. 
So I, I, sh I showed you how to make that on that video. Now here are some other, this is actually my, I'm giving you a peek at my stamp club cards. My VIP club members um, got these this month. And this one even used a little Wink of Stella to match the shimmer here. And then here's another one, just beautiful with the designer paper. Now, moving on, I'm going to, I'm gonna zoom in just a hair so you guys can really see these. I want you to really see these beautiful samples. These are all made with the Share What You Love Suite that's on special right now. And so this here is just done with some designer paper, the, the layering ovals and the stitch shape ovals, and it's got those pearls come in the kit. I love this one. Love it, love it, love it. So this one here, the blends, colors in the flowers. You can see the folder that we just used on the, um, we inked up to use. Here it is uninked and just, um, just textured right there on that card. It's beautiful. Here's another one from Veronica Cordry, and this is a Z Fold card. Z Fold is very fun. This is a, just a simple one with some designer paper and layering squares. And here is um, another one. Now I have a whole series on my blog. If you click on the click on the resource page of this video, you can see my series on my stampatami.com blog. Actually, today is um, day eight in my series, so I have seven other days and another one tomorrow. And they all have free PDF instructions. This is one of them. And um, they all have beautiful cards that were created with this, this bundle. So you will find those all on my blog. You can click on the link on the video's description. And you'll see, you'll, you'll see right there the series. And there's a little thumbnail you can click to get to each one. To get the information on each one. This is a fun little um, fold that she did here to show both sides of that designer paper. Because, you know, it's always sad. When you have to flip over one side of the designer paper, so you know you have to because it's two sided, you have to pick which side you like the best. And here is another beautiful card colored with the blends. This has the layering squares and a little velvet ribbon. Now, here's another this is another beauty. This one's from Tina Waddell. You'll find the instructions for this one on my blog as well. This is part of my series here, but she did a beautiful job with the Stampin' Blends. Little Wink of Stella on the flowers there. She made the, the layering squares and stitch shaped squares together for that window. Gorgeous. Here's another one you'll find on my blog. Beautiful, beautiful. These flowers come from the designer paper. It's just, this is a whole bundle. It's just amazing. The whole thing is amazing. Oh, this one's in cello, sorry for that. This one's another one from Tina Waddell. Some beautiful coloring on this one. Just absolutely gorgeous. She's got some embossing paste and some glitter on the background. I don't know if you can see that. But then here's another one. Using the everyday punch that we just used with uh, the doilies that come with the, the bundles. Just gorgeous. I mean, there's everything with this. these bundles are beautiful. This one, another one with the impressions folder in the background, showing that impressions folder in the same DSP that we just used. And here's another one. And here's one more. Beautiful. This one uses the uh, tag that's in that embellishment kit that I apologize. I thought I, I thought I was so well prepared. <laughs> this is my. This is just how my day is rolling. So there are some beautiful samples. I said this was a mega class. The you know mega giveaways, mega techniques, and mega ideas mega ideas look at all these ideas okay back and out so you can see all of that oh my gosh right so many beautiful ideas with this this these bundles and you can purchase these on my um in my online store now um simply by clicking on the link in this video's description okay so that said it is now time for our giveaways and i know you guys are excited about this in case you missed it in the beginning i'm giving away three hostess sets two of them were unclaimed prizes from before so make sure you claim your prize i'm giving away um, I, I already did the giveaway for the pop-up scrap bin and that was the early bird and the last one is the mega bundle Okay, so I have two of these I'm gonna flash over if you don't win one of the prizes I'm about to give away. I have two of these mega bundles once I'm giving away right now and one I'll be giving away on June 1st for you who are watching this after the live who weren't able to catch us on the live You can check out check out the video leave a comment um, and if you share this video You'll be entered a second time into the after live drawing uh, which will take place on June 1st. So this whole bundle is valued at $84 and it is a sneak peek at what's coming next week in my eight days of May giveaway. So those bundles are going to be very similar to this huge, amazing values um, that you can enter for free. So stay tuned. Wednesday, I will be back to share 
information on that. And Wednesday will be day one, two prizes a day that I will have. Um, and then I'll be doing all the drawings live when I return from Utah. So I will draw, I will draw 16 winners live. So that'll be fun too. I, I, that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so that being said, let's pop over to our giveaway. And uh, Debbie won the pop-up scrap bin. So we are ready to uh, give some stuff away. First up is the Your Delightful. Your uh, Delightful stamp set. This is a hostess stamp set, which is about to be retired. The winner of that is... Wait for it. Maybe. There it goes. There it goes. A little slow. It's Lynn Hunt Fawns. Congratulations, Lynn. She doesn't want to be a chicken with a shutter card. You, you, can, you can go for it. Dare to Dream. Dare to Dream is the next stamp set that we're going to be giving away. And that one is going to... This is another hostess set. And um, that winner is Michelle Chase. And our uh, last live giveaway here is for the Tranquil Tulips. The Tranquil Tulips um, stamp set. And that one goes to... Is it Jean? It's Jean. Jean Kohler. So congratulations, Michelle, Lynn, Debbie, and Jean. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form. Okay, now it's time for that mega bundle. This is for the mega bundle. This is like 80, over $80 worth of stuff. Using the suite that I just shared these cards on. This is from the, the Share What You Love suite. I, I have one now and one on June 1st. The winner of our grand prize, <laughs> our mega grand prize is Tammy Fife Nickel. Oh, Tammy is a lucky girl. All right. And she has a great name. Congratulations, Tammy. She wins the Mega Bundle. But if you didn't win, don't worry because I have another one to give away on June 1st. So be sure to leave a comment here, even if you're not live, so that you can be eligible to win. Now, if you share this and type the word shared into the comments, S-H-A-R-E-D, you will be entered a second time into this um, after live drawing. All right. All the resources for this are on my blog, stampwithtammy.com. Click on the link in this video's description. I will see you back here on Wednesday when we kick off the eight-day giveaway in May. And I will look forward to seeing you then. Have a great weekend.